Jenkins helps automate various stages of the software development lifecycle, such as building, testing, and deploying applications. When you first install Jenkins, it's like stepping onto a vast open land. To make it functional, you need to install plugins. There are thousands of plugins developed and managed by the community for every imaginable task, and that's what makes Jenkins awesome. For example, let's imagine deploying a simple React application. This involves several steps. First, cloning the repository from GitHub using the Git plugin, then building the React project using the Node plugin. Next, creating a Docker image of the React app using the Docker plugin. And finally, deploying the Docker image on a server using the SSH agent plugin. To make this pipeline work, we need to install these four plugins. Today, we'll set up Jenkins and an Ubuntu server on our local machine and make this pipeline work end to end. So stay tuned until the end of the video. Before we start writing our pipeline, let's review the components involved in this demo. On the host machine, we will start two containers. The first one will be a Jenkins instance, and the second one will be an Ubuntu server. For the Docker repository, we will use GitHub container registry. The React project will be cloned from GitHub. The code will be cloned from GitHub, and then an image will be built using the Jenkins pipeline and pushed to the GitHub container registry. Afterward, we will log in using SSH into the Ubuntu server and deploy our React Docker image. First, we need an Ubuntu server with SSH login enabled. For this, we will use an Ubuntu Docker image and install Docker and the SSH service inside this container. For SSH login, we will enable password authentication and finally start the SSH service. From now on, this will be our server where we intend to deploy our React application. Next, we will create a Docker Compose file that will host two services. The Jenkins service will run on port 8080. It will be accessible on the Jenkins demo network and will have a few volumes. This Jenkins service will share the Docker instance of the host machine using these volumes. The Ubuntu service will also be available on the same network and share the same volumes. For the Ubuntu server, we will expose two ports, one for SSH login and another for the application running inside the Nginx server. Inside our React application, we have a Docker file that copies the build files into the Nginx web directory and exposes a port. This is not a production-grade setup. It is for demo purposes only. However, if you need a production-ready instance of Jenkins up and running in just a few minutes, you can consider using ls.io. They offer ready-to-use instances of all the major services needed for your microservice architecture. So, consider visiting ls.io. Before we dive into writing the Jenkins pipeline, let's summarize our setup so far. The custom Docker file for our Ubuntu server, the Docker Compose file for Jenkins and the Ubuntu server, and the Docker file for the React application. Let's start our Docker containers using the docker compose up command. Now we should be able to access Jenkins on port 8080, and we should also be able to log in to our Ubuntu server using SSH. Let's log into Jenkins and start installing plugins. To install plugins, we need to go to the Manage Jenkins section and click on Plugins. We can search for Git, Node.js, Credentials, and Docker Pipeline plugins. For SSH login, we need to install the SSH agent plugin. The credentials plugin will enable the credentials section inside Manage Jenkins. Here we will store credentials for GitHub and the Ubuntu server. For SSH login, we will use a public private key pair. For GitHub, we will use a username and password. Once we add these credentials, we can copy the ID of these credentials inside the pipeline. This way, we don't have to expose these secrets inside the pipeline. To access Docker and Node features, we need to install the necessary tools in Jenkins. First, navigate to Manage Jenkins and select Tools. Inside the Tools section, add Docker as a tool. You can choose the location from where Docker will be downloaded and installed. Next, enable the Node.js tool. First, we will create a key pair using the SSH keygen command. We will copy the public key to the Ubuntu server using the SSH copy ID command and manually paste the private key into Jenkins credentials. Now, we are all set to write our first pipeline. Jenkins pipelines are written in the groovy language. 
similar to Gradle plugin management files. First, we will define a few important variables inside the environment block. We will specify Docker registry details, the Git credentials ID, and server login details. Remember, all secrets, including passwords and keys, will be stored inside credentials, and we will only refer to the credential IDs here. This way, we don't have to expose actual secrets to Jenkins users. Next, we will define tools. These tools are provided by the Jenkins plugins we installed earlier. Let's define a few stages of our pipeline. The first stage is to clone the React project repository. This stage will use the Git tool with a Git credential ID that includes the username and token for GitHub. The next stage involves installing NPM packages and building the project. This stage will use the Node.js plugin that we installed earlier. The third stage creates a Docker image. The fourth stage tags the Docker image and pushes it to the GitHub container registry. Note that this stage also uses the Git credential ID to authenticate with GitHub before pushing the image to the registry. The final stage uses the SSH agent plugin to log in to the Ubuntu server. The SSH credential ID referred to here contains the private key of the key pair. Once authenticated with the Ubuntu server, the plugin will start executing the provided commands one after another. First, it stops and removes the existing container and image. Next, it pulls the latest image from the GitHub container registry. Finally, it starts the container on the defined port. Let's add this job inside Jenkins and run it. We will create a new project of type pipeline. If we scroll down a bit, we can find a place to paste our job script. Once we add the script here, we are ready to run the job. Let's run it and observe all the stages executing one after another. We can click on the running job to see all the available logs, where we can watch all the stages running sequentially. Once the job is completed, we can access our React app on the exposed port and verify that our app is running successfully. Let's make a change inside our project. We can open the home component and edit a line. After committing these changes to the default branch, if we run our job again, we should see the changes reflected immediately. We can fast forward through the execution of these stages. Now, if we refresh our app, we will see that the latest change has been deployed. If you like this Jenkins demo, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.